In this video, I'll show you how to trace the walls of our floor plan for our SketchUp House project. First, I'll bring my view to a top-down view so I can see the floor plan straight on. I'll click Views, click the middle option to get the top down, and then I can close the Views panel. Okay. To trace our floor plan, we're going to use the line tool. So that's this tool here, looks like a pencil. We've got a couple of tips. Tip one, uh, don't be afraid to zoom in. Right? The closer you get as you zoom, the more control you'll have over where the line goes. Two, as you draw a line, uh, I'd start at a doorway find it easier to start and end neatly at these doorways. So maybe I'll click on this corner here. And as you draw your lines, make sure that before you click to finish a line, so I clicked once to start a line, now my line is following the cursor, I'm going to want to finish the line uh, over at the corner of the house. You'll see right now I can't get to the corner of the house. So I could zoom out, but even that, can be kind of awkward just trying to do it with zooming. So the best way to do it is to pan. Uh, our view tools are here. I could click on orbit and get to pan, shaped like a hand. And then I can click and drag my view over a bit so I can see the corner of the house. And you'll notice my line is gone, but it's not forgotten. If I click the line tool, the line is still there waiting. And now I can get to that corner. Before I click, I'm going to make sure that the line is highlighted red or green. So in this case, if I'm going horizontally, it should highlight red. If I'm off at an angle, then it won't be highlighted red, and angled lines here could cause problems. So we want to make sure they're nice and straight, parallel and perpendicular to each other by highlighting them red if we're going horizontally, or green if we're going vertically. All right, with those tips said, uh, I'm going to start tracing around uh, the exterior of this house. I'll use the pan tool to sort of drag my view up to the next point that I have to click. I'll click the line tool to get my line back, make sure that it's highlighted red or green, and click on the corner. I'll move to the next corner of the wall and click. Move to the next corner wall and click. And each time, just trying to make sure that before I click, it's highlighted red or green. And my cursor's in the right spot, right on the corner. Okay, now as you come around to walls that you'd like to be lined up to each other, I've just gone around the whole house. Now I'm going to come back down to the front of the house. Uh, I could click just about anywhere here, and I could get it close. Uh, but another tip for you, if you'd like to make it exact so that this wall ends right at the same spot that this wall over here that we already started tracing is, then I'm going to hover over the, this endpoint of the line. You'll see as I bring my cursor back towards the other corner of the house, I'm bringing a little dotted guideline with me. So I'm using that first line that I drew as an inference point, and it's giving me a guide. So I'll use that guide, I'll click, and now I know that this line that I just drew ends right in line with uh, this line that I started with. Okay, as I get to the doorway, here I'm pretty much where I started, but instead of just coming across and trying to do anything else in here, I'm going to follow my tracing. I'm going to follow the wall lines in. It's green. And I'm just going to keep following it until I get to the total other side of the house and come back out on the other side of this doorway to connect. So I'll just keep following my lines wherever they go. 
tracing as I go. I can zoom in if I need to get a little more detailed. And when I want to have things lined up nicely, I'll sort of hover over a line or a corner that I want the SketchUp uh, to pay attention to. And I'll get that dotted line as a guide before I click. Okay, so as I go through this here, I'm going to continue tracing all the walls of this floor plan. Now you'll see that once we have connected our lines together and we've closed in this tracing, right, the entire traced area has been highlighted with this blue color. So I can see that all of these walls that are now colored blue have been traced correctly. And now these blue walls are ready to uh, pull upwards to 3D. Now on this floor plan, uh, there's a couple walls that uh, are on their own. And actually one wall that I missed. So I'm going to add those now. By tracing them over quick. If I zoom out, we can see that all of the walls for this floor plan have been traced. In the next video, I'll show you how we're going to pull up those walls to the correct size to make our 3D house. Uh, at this point, don't forget to save. Good work. And I'll see you in the next video.